Hi everybody, it is Budget. Welcome to like a different kind of video. Uh, this is more like a storytelling video. Basically, I'm gonna talk about all my paranormal um, experiences throughout my life because I don't know. I um I love the paranormal. I think it's interesting. I think it's it's interesting to to believe in something that we don't really know exists and you know there's plenty of people that try to you know get this myth like true you know by getting evidence personally i do believe a little bit in the paranormal i have experienced some things that i can't really you know sort of explain um but then again it could be just something i'm not like open to completely because i haven't really felt it physical or i haven't seen anything physical um, I've just felt something or seen something um, weird or heard something weird. So to me, I think like for me to believe it 100%, like I would have to physically feel something paranormal or actually like have a real good evidence on something really unexplainable. <laughs> I do watch videos on YouTube, you know, about like haunted houses. Uh, Ouija boards uh, sessions and psychic sometimes and I also watch like TV shows like Ghost Avengers and <laughs> thanks to Tina and Lilla. <laughs> so yes, as I said, like I haven't really experienced something really physical yet. Um, more like unclear and unknown uh, happenings that I really want to talk to you guys about because I find it really interesting. So, as a little kid, um, many people say, like, kids can see ghosts and- or they're more open-minded to that kind of stuff, the spiritual world, world. As a kid, I didn't really see anything, hear anything, or experience something. Not that I know of, because, you know, as a kid, I didn't really know- maybe I thought, like, that was the real world, that, that was, like, something normal. Um, so who knows, maybe I just can't remember it as a paranormal experience. My first experience was probably around when I was like 13. There was like this uh, friend of mom and dad's that came over. She apparently is psychic that I didn't really know about. She came over and she felt this presence like right away. Like there was multiple spirits in, in that house we lived in. She picked up like somebody that played with my brother downstairs in his bedroom. Somebody that came and went sort of now and then. And then it was like, a shaman or something like that that was in my room and she also said it was a portal right by my bedside wall fun so obviously like I got a little bit spooked of that but she managed to like walk around the house a little bit like with her spiritual fingers um hands <laughs> um and she picked up something kind of weird and creepy for me personally i was sitting by like our living room or t the table um with a couple of chairs around right and i was just like i think i was doing homework or something while i was listening to what she had to say and i thought it was really interesting you know and then she came over by me and she like felt the, the opposite of facing chair of me and she said like there's like a old man sitting right here right now and when she said that, like, I felt this cold, just chill from my foot and up. I got chills all over and it was, it was a weird experience and I got like kind of freaked out, you know, like, <gasps> really? But that was like sort of a person that just came and went. Also, she claims that she uh, closed the portal by my, in my bedroom. But after she left, things started actually to happen more, or I started to hear more things that were, were unexplainable. I would have, for example, here at night, I would hear the freaking, like, drums outside of my window, like shaman drums, you know? And I would also hear footsteps sometimes, and it really freaked me out sometimes. Um, I had to just put on headphones and try to you know, focus on some music before I went to bed instead. So that was probably one of the most freakiest thing I've ever, yeah, experienced because, I mean, after, I mean, that just happened like two or three days, I think, and then it just went away. 
haven't heard anything of that since, so I guess the shaman just wanted to have a final ritual or something. <laughs> also, after this, I don't know, I think it was like a couple of days, or maybe like even months after she left, I'm not really entirely sure. This is all by from my memory, to be honest, so... I woke up uh, from a loud freaking noise upstairs. I got really scared, you know? So I went upstairs to the kitchen and in the middle of the kitchen floor there was like these, you know, these oven plates you put in. Um, there was like one of those like laying in the middle of the kitchen floor. Uh, a few seconds later, um, my mom and my brother actually came up too. They also like heard this noise and was like terrified about of it. At that point, we didn't really have a cat either. Um, the cat we had before that like ran away or disappeared or died or something. We don't really know. At that point, we didn't have a cat, so we were not used to noises at all. The weird thing about this object laying in the middle of the floor was that the oven plate that was on the floor was placed before on the counter. Right? The even weirder thing about this is that the oven plate was surrounded by sort of like random stuff. I don't know, it was like pencils and uh, everything from uh, weird toys um, laying in front of the oven plate. So if the oven plate was just like sliding down from the counter, there would be more objects on the floor with it. But it was laying in the middle. So we don't really know anything about that. Almost like it got picked up and then just tossed down. Um, it, that's also not something really scary, but really we haven't come to a conclusion on what it could be or what it was. Um, after that, like I haven't really encountered anything that is spooky or paranormal in itself until... Okay, so this is follow up follow-up story to what I'm going to tell you guys. So when I was 15, you know, I got confirmed in the church. You know, there's a whole ceremony for that, right? So basically, my mom and dad experienced something while that ceremony was going. They felt like hands on their shoulders and mom told me like, you know, there was like a feeling of proudness to it. So she told me like, maybe it was like some Rel uh, relatives that was really proud of me like you know getting confirmed so so they like you know came with a shoulder pat on on the shoulder to my parents it was I don't know um my mom is really open to those things so she talks about it this is the weirdest thing that happened okay so <clears throat> last year I graduated from high school right um and you know also there's a freaking ceremony of getting your graduation and all that stuff. So there was like a speech, I think, in the middle of the ceremony. After a while, I felt like two distinct hands, like really distinct hands on my shoulders. I don't think I actually told anybody about this, not even my mom, when I think about it. Um, I was gonna tell her, but I, I think I forgot two hands on my shoulders. And I immediately just like, you know, looked back and see if somebody was actually touching me, but there was nobody behind me leaning forward or anything. So I was like, okay, um, I'm just gonna continue listening to the speech. The hands were there for a long while, actually. I felt like, and it wasn't a cold feeling. It was like chilling. It was actually pretty freaking warm. And then it just like sort of faded away after a while. And I was, I was sitting there really uh, emotional, not because of the speech, but because something touched me <laughs> like I don't know what it was but it was freaking I wouldn't say it was spooky because it felt really comforting so what do I know <laughs> also this I think is like a really little thing that happened to my friends Anne at some point I don't know I was probably like around 17 or 16 years old then we were like hanging out having like a girls night or something girls day I think with two other friends um that day it was thunder and raining and it was really really humid and hot it was like in the middle of the summer and 
suddenly we hear like a glass or something break you know that extinct sound of glass breaking we just like stopped for a minute and just like did you guys hear that yeah they were like yeah i heard it where did it come from the thing is that we never never found where the source of that thing the cra um the glass breaking came from we looked everywhere behind couches outside even because we did we just wanted to know and upstairs even i'm just all over the house but we never find where the source went um came from you know so i included it in in this video and it's just like a tiny little thing that is really unexplainable to me i also have this last thing i want to say um after my grandma passed which was in 2012 i think i think she haunted like her house uh while my grandpa was also living there i've seen some doors going op uh, open itself and closing by itself sometimes um also my grandpa had a dog a really tiny dog you know it's i think it's called like a pa pa palen palena or palena or something like that it's like a really short dog you know and that dog couldn't like jump up to any kind of seat almost like not even the couch or the chairs in a kitchen my grandpa told me this he saw the dog in the kitchen like kind of looking you know into nothing and then he went to the bathroom or something he just went away for a couple minutes at least and then the dog was up on one of the chairs in the kitchen by itself there was nothing there to help the dog up either i believe that grandma left it up the dog <laughs> i do and uh, yeah it's just like things like that but i don't think she's haunting um that place anymore though i think she moved on so yeah um as i said like these aren't really the typical really spooky uh ghost stories that you normally hear but it's what i've experienced and i think like paranormal things happen to everybody but it is really different how you actually experience them yourself, like how you actually feel about them. Yeah, I mean, I know people that have seen actual ghosts and they're terrified of them, you know, so it, it's it's a cool thing to talk about. I feel like really sort of interested in the theme of paranormal. For me to 100% believe it, I think I need to see something really distinctly, hear something really distinctive or just like, I don't know. It has to be something really truly mind-blowing for me to actually believe it 100 percent but i am a slightly believer of course i mean i watch paranormal stuff so why why, why shouldn't i be all right guys this was a long ass video but i hope you guys enjoyed it i see you guys later in my next video take care of yourselves bye